guys, welcome to Art with Misty Nicola. In today's episode, we will be creating a recycled koi fish. For the supplies, you will need a pen, a pencil, an eraser, a piece of paper for the background, a koi template, which you could find the link below, toilet paper tube, or a cut paper towel tube to size, scissors, and glue. You will also need something to color with, so you could use any of the following materials that you have at home, like markers, watercolors, crayons, color pencils, oil, or even chalk pastels. And if you don't have any of these materials, you can always use pen and pencil to create different values. Vocabulary. Template, a pattern or shape used as a guide for recreating a drawing or cutting a particular design. Trace, to copy and go over an object or drawing typically used to transfer a design. Bird's eye view, a view of an object from above as though the observer were a flying bird. So you're going to start by cutting your tube in half straight line all the way down then you are going to flatten it out and see if it fits on the template if not you could always trim it next we are going to cut out the bold shapes from your koi fish template those are the thicker black lines on the paper we will cut them out trace your shapes onto the flat toilet paper tube start with the body and work with the other shapes then you will start to cut those shapes out. If you need help, ask an adult. Now we need to fold our body's shape in half and fold the fins. Next, place the folded template over the folded paper tube and cut on the bold lines. You will end up with three little cuts, two in the front, one in the back. Remove the white paper and start to fold the front of your fish where you made the first two cuts. Now it's time to design your fish's scales, fins, and tails. Outline in pen, marker, or sharpie, and don't forget to add the eyes. Don't forget to design both the front and back side of your tail. When you're ready, you can start coloring with whatever material you have. I used oil pastel. After, you're going to add a base coat of white, then you could pick other colors that you want to use on your pattern. Don't forget to color both the front and back side of your tails. Now it's time to gently fold the body and glue the front of your koi fish's head. Ask an adult for help. You should hold it for about 30 seconds. Earlier we made a small cut in the middle of the body near the back. Now it's time to take tail one and place it in that hole. Add a little bit of glue and hold for 30 seconds. Ask an adult for help. Then you could add tail number two and repeat. You will have a little extra cardboard from the tube, and you could use this for added details like extra scales, a longer tail, eyelids, etc. Time for the background design. Using wavy lines, we will create water around our koi fish and a dark shadow underneath the koi. Once you're done creating the water, you can start to add lily pads, bubbles, and water lily flowers anywhere you'd like. Don't forget to add shadows and highlights. Lastly, sign your artwork with the color and material that you could see on your paper. And 
there you have it guys. Here is my recycled koi fish in bird's eye perspective. And I can't wait to see yours. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Stay creative guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe below.